What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Groove of the Week. Of the week, of the week. For today's episode, we're going to do something a little different than what we've been doing on previous episodes. Today, I want to show some concepts on how you can create your own bass lines. And this is going to be, you know, multiple episodes and therefore we're going to start pretty basic for today. And we're going to do or we're going to cover the use of fifths so how can you find a fifth or what is a fifth you know in music a fifth is an interval let's say for example that the root note of a chord is d major so this is our scale and it's the sound and the way to find a fifth you can do for example is count the steps of a major scale That is an A, or you can, you know, memorize the way to find a fifth, in that it is from the root where you fret it, it is one string higher and two frets to the right. So one string higher, two frets to the right. And that is a fifth. And you can do so much with just the root note and the fifth. There's a lot of bass lines based around that, a pretty famous one, for example. Under Pressure by Queen. And just to demonstrate, I'm gonna count something, you know, count a beat off. I have no idea what I'm gonna play. I have no nothing prepared, absolutely anything. And I'm gonna do it um, in D major, just like I said. So, one, two, one, two, three, four. And you can definitely do that, you know, around a, a vocal melody because it's got rhythm and you're not just playing the root note, so it's got a bit more movement. And all I'm doing there is just playing the root, the fifth, and I'm also playing the fifth below the root. And the way to find that is the same fret, one string lower, because that is an octave previous fifth that we discussed a bit earlier. So let me just count something again and I'm gonna play a different a different thing. This time we're gonna do a G major for example. One, two, three and four. And just by using those two notes, you can create a lot of different bass lines because you are forced to use more of a rhythm element to the playing. You can just, you know, throw notes. You have to be, pay a bit more attention to the way you phrase things rhythmically. Um, but that's, you know, sometimes all a song needs. You don't need a lot of extra notes uh, by just by playing. That's, you're just delivering for the song with those two notes. So just to summarize everything, the way to find the fifth in a major scale, you know, you go one, two, three, four, five, like that. Or you fret a note, you go one string higher, two frets to the right, demonstrating another note. F sharp, one string higher, two frets to the right. That's a C, C sharp. Or you find the fifth below the root, which is, for example, just to take F sharp again here, and then you just fret the exact same fret but one string lower, and that's how you find the fifth below the root. 
I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming through the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.